Hello fight fans, I want to be super guys. If you're interested in the channel, click the like and subscribe button right now, man. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah. Shot my nigga, put two on his brain Really took losses, nothing the same Making the beat, but I can't entertain No cap, I had to fuck up a check 100k large, I reverse out of debt Put up a bag and they think they a threat So, my little nigga so well, let's talk about Enderers Jr. <laughs> I love it Japanese, man I love it Japanese, man You know, it's, it's very nice To Realize that People you You, 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 you taught uh, so humble and not really that humble and that makes Adi Joshua the best and that makes Adi Joshua the only guy in any spot that is professional intelligent Mentally endowed and respectful. So, looking at Andrew's Jr. statement saying that Joshua lacks bossing skills and he vows to beat him again. <laughs> Listen, I told you guys, it was not uh, a week ago when I said that I heard what Rui Jr. said behind closed doors. This is what he said. I didn't want to talk about it because I was told by my FBI guys, BBC FBI, the guys who, who investigate and definitely are close to every person you may know. They sent me a message saying that Regina said this behind closed doors. And I was like, you sure? Say so yeah. I didn't report about it, I just kept my mouth shut because that's why I started feeling like this guy is becoming a little bit uh pompous, you know what I mean? Becoming a little bit uh a little bit a little bit a little bit uh you know how will you say arrogant? Arrogant is it the right word to use? Religion is a very calm dude, but arrogant in his behavior. You might call it confidence, but I don't see that way, bro. So, Andrew's genius say, and the Joshua lacks Boston skewers. Let's look at what he has to say, bro. He said, the rematch is going to be the same. I'm going to be more prepared and more ready. I know his flaws. I can do a lot better. The whole thing that he can do is just run around. He's not good at boxing. <laughs> oh, I love in Japanese. I love in Japanese. You know what? Andrew Jr. without Joshua, you would never become anything. You would have never become any guy damn thing. In fact, even your old Mexican supporters wouldn't even know who the fuck you are. If you had been in water, I mean, you won't get all the stuff. But because you beat the Unified Everywhere King in my high city Unified, those belts are alone for now, and we're coming to take it back. Listen, people will say, what if Joshua lose the rematch? What are you going to do next? Listen, I will still back my Nigerian bro. Are you? BBC support is not a, a support of, it's not a fake support. Once I support someone, it is forever. Except that person misbehaves then I go in hard on them just like a Jagba misbehaved and went in to sign with a slave master man listen I'm just keeping it real right here I'm not a guy that you get a fake support from when I support you you feel it 
every goddamn day. And in this case, I'm not only supporting Joshua, I'm supporting our Nigerian brother. And I support our Nigerian brothers worldwide. Worldwide. No matter where you're born, no matter where you're from, as long as you have the Nigerian blood in you, you're a brother to me. That's just how it is, man. That's how I do it. That's why I do things daily. You know, and that's how I tend to interact with people because have been helped a lot by Nigerians, by fellow Nigerians. Even though you have some, you know, rumors around, some, you know, negative rumors about Nigerians, but I have been helped by Nigerians. You know what I mean? So, not every Nigerian is bad. And my mentality is see that, listen, when you read to people, they will be read to you as well. But when you're not real, they won't be. That's just the fact, man. Some might want to take advantage of your realness. But as a smart guy, as a street guy, if you're from the street like me, you know who is real and who isn't. And for those who are not real, you can make them real by opening their eyes. By making them realize that, listen, this life is nothing. This life is just a transit to somewhere better, man. So Ruiz Jr. is now getting a little bit, you know, arrogant, I must say. Listen, I know you Mexican fans. I, I know I've got a lot of message from Mexican fans. I like it. I speak Spanish. Yeah, we talk all the time. I respect it, but you cannot deny the fact that your bro, Ruiz Jr. is beginning to heart like a nuisance. I cannot wait for November or December for that fight to happen, man. I cannot wait for the rematch. You know, I watched some some couple of interviews from legends like uh, Roy Jones Jr. saying that listen, Joshua needs to change some things for him in order for him to win the rematch. He needs to change some things, man. Well, he was a little bit critical about the Joshua that is expected because Roy Jones Jr. is a is a straight straight up dude. You know, he said in the past that listen. Joshua is already there, but now you say, okay, Joshua fucked up some shit. And she'll change. And I'm telling you right now, Joshua will. I just had a conversation with an influential person. A millionaire, by the way. An Andrew millionaire. Who is in contact with the Unified Way King of the World, man, to Joshua. He's been giving me some tips. You know about business stuff like that we're just talking about life as well and about our Nigerian brothers worldwide he's saying that Joshua is back and he believed that and Joshua would surprise everyone not even surprised he will reclaim his throne because he's not surprised Joshua is an elite fighter and elite fighters hardly for love but all I'm praying for is that listen, Joshua should not go in there in a rematch in a weak mindset. He should not go in with a with, with a weak mindset because if he goes in there with a weak mindset, and Regina would take advantage of them. And and Regina saying that he will come prepared. And better listen the first fight was already prepared man he fought he already had a fight proud to get in the, get in the bout against joshua he already had a fight no he was already prepared for joshua he's been watching joshua for a long time he's been watching his clips as fights with dylan white which is a parker he's been watching all he knows a lot about joshua and joshua's team like antonio Tavor stated paid him and that's the fact but i like the fact that andrews jr is now a successful man in life congress to him fair play to his family but you've got joshua to thank for everything man. without joshua you'll be nothing nothing that's just the fact joshua built himself up by, by all alone you didn't do that. You couldn't do that. 
because you had no birds. In fact, the Mexicans who are just coming right now from the woodwork saying, Oh, uh, viva Mexico, viva that, viva that. And when you, ha when you ask these people, where do they live? They live in America, man. If you say viva Mexico, then you should be in Mexico doing the viva stuff there. That's all I'm gonna ask on my toss, man. It's just like me living in Germany right here. And then say Biba Nigeria everywhere, you know, when this is on my land. I have to go to my land and do that Biba stuff. I'm very proud of Nigerian, but I don't put it in other people's face. Because when you're living, when you're a foreigner somewhere, you've got to respect the land, respect the culture, res learn the languages. Okay? Learn the language, very important. Some people tend to travel and don't want to learn the language. And that's a problem you know and also Spanish is not a Mexican language in fact Mexico was colonized by Spain Spanish belongs to the Spaniards in Spain right in Europe I lived in Barcelona before so I know that Spain has a very long rich history and also some bad history as well of Colonization. So, and the reason you know speaking Spanish that's not his language. No, no, that's, that's a borrowed language. That's a language the colonial masters impose on his ancestors. Just like me speaking English. English is not my language, but I do have my language, by the way. Because Nigeria was colonized by Britain, English is the, is the main language, the official language. Hauptsprache of Deutsch. You know what I mean? But I have my own language. I'm from Benin City. I'm from Edo Land. Some of the great kings. You know what I mean? So. And there is Junior. A guy that we are taught was humble is not humble. He's not humble. He's humble when he had nothing. Instead of you to keep your goddamn mouth shut. You are bragging about being injured in the rematch. I like your confidence, but he's gonna get you hurt in the rematch because Joshua is gonna come in there and make an example of you, man. Joshua must work on his craft. Joshua has to get every sparring partner. In Listen, impossible. You've got to get even guys from light heavyweights who who has fast hands. Get them in camp if you need help. You already know how to, you always know how to get me. Always easy. I know people who are gonna help you out. In fact, if it's spiritual stuff, you've got to do it as well. Some people are right. Some people are telling me that um, Ruiz Junior did not uh, really defeat the Joshua physically. Instead, he defeated him spiritually. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about what I, I don't know about what I defeated. Uh, the the guy spiritually or not? I don't. I don't. Do do, do Mexico people believe? Mexican people believe in uh, in spiritual stuff? I don't. I don't know. I mean, their forefathers used to because they're like uh, Red Indians, like that. Until the Spanish came in and uh, wiped those guys, or wiped those people away, or or or, or, or you know, uh, slept with their for with their with their mothers and. Uh, to have a mixed race, people that look like Andrew Junior, you know what I mean? Something like you see, you think they are white, but they are not, you know what I mean? Something like that. Uh, because the Spanish, the, the, the Spaniards, the Spanish people from Spain, the Spaniards, when they got to Mexico, that's what they did. They, they saw that the people were not civilized, so they, they, they decided to just impregnate all of them, you know, wipe them out. But they couldn't not really wipe them out, but they, instead they, they impregnated all of them, uh, most of them, and uh, yeah. Then you have people like Andrew Jr. That's how Andrew Jr. became who he is right now, man. Not like Nigeria, whereby we did not allow that. The drill had different kingdoms, different powerful kingdoms. You have the kingdom of Benin, where I come from. You had the kingdom of Oyo. You had the, the Sukuto Caliphate. And among others, you had powerful kings you know who actually uh, 
were so powerful to even defeat. So, if you want to hear more of all these things, go subscribe to my personal YouTube channel. I already posted a link. So, uh, maybe I will leave the link uh, on the comment section, man. So, Andrew is genial making things very complicated right now. I hope he does not retire. Don't retire, man. Don't retire, please. Because if he retires right now, the contract will be over. The rematch is going to be over. I hope he doesn't retire, man. I hope he stays hookers. And I hope he believes that he can go in there and beat Joshua again. I hope so. Now, when Joshua come in, Joshua will make an example of Andrew Jr. That's just a fact, man. Give it a toss below, guys. Like the video, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. By the way, go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Follow me on Twitter at Boxing Block. And as well on Facebook at Boxing Block Center. Write me, DM me, touch it about me on nice, man. Every opinion matters, man. Cheers and stay blessed. We switching them gears and niggas be hating, but we are no fears. My vision was blurred, but now I see clear. And niggas be talking, but we do not hear. Things have been crazy, but I'm going in. Ain't worried about no bitch, I ain't got no new friends. I ain't chasing no thought, I'm just chasing these hands. I got me in check, now I'm about to go spin. Change the bitches like the season. Tell me, love me, show me. The niggas be hate for no reason. Ice on my neck, it be freezing. Counting this money, I be cheesing. I ain't gonna lie, I be pulling the foes. Got me some money, but I want some more. All in my bag, I'm never gonna fold. I gotta stay down for all of my bros. Ride for my niggas, I die for my niggas And when it come to it, I stop for my niggas For nothing above when we came from the gutter Wooders and noodles, we came from the struggle Pull out the chopper, these niggas imposters Real street nigga, I'm preaching the gospel Know that they mad, that they couldn't stop us Move like a unit compares to mobsters Ride for my niggas, I die for my niggas And when it come to it, I stop for my niggas For nothing above when we came from the gutter Wooders and noodles, we came from the struggle Pull out the chopper, these niggas imposters Real street nigga, I'm preaching the gospel Know that they mad, that they couldn't stop us Move like a unit compares to mobsters